All right, guys, quick tool that I made a little while ago. This tool will allow you to copy normals from one object to another. And it uses the already integrated awesome transfer attributes tool in Maya. Just makes it a little bit more easier to use. It uses this a vertex normal attribute transfer from one object to another. But if you're using this, you have to have everything stacked on top of each other and it can get quite tedious picking through stuff if you're gonna be using multiple objects. So yeah, that's what it does. You can download this script from my website. I uh, just drag it into the Python window here. I select all and you can drag it up to a shelf and you can just push the button and here it is. And all you need to do is select your whole mesh that you want to copy from and then your broken mesh, which is just split, it's just cut in two and then just hit copy normals and you'll see now that it looks as if it is a whole mesh but it is in fact split which is a pretty cool uh, little tool especially if you're doing something like fruit ninja and you want to hide the seam prior to the slice do you know what I mean you don't want it to look like this is already sliced and then uh, the other thing you might want to do is cap it afterwards so if you're going to cap these make sure you just uh, do it afterwards because if you don't I'll show you what happens. I think it's under mesh, fill hole, right? So we're gonna cap that. If you uh, do it afterwards, you get this nice uh, edge cut off and they still match up uh, on top of each other like, like that. But if you do it afterwards, you get kind of a weird, actually that wasn't so bad on that side. I think it was more apparent on this side. It's kind of random. Let me show it on this side. You'll get, uh, yeah, weird things happen with the normals because it's trying to copy the normals from the inside of this. So yeah, if you do it the outside, you won't have any, uh, if you do it, sorry, afterwards, you won't have any issue with it. Uh, another use for this tool, which is uh, one of the ways I was using it, is to hide hidden passages if you've got like a game or something that you're working on. And you may have even seen this issue in older games where you have a secret passage, but it becomes very obvious when you see... Uh, the change in the vertex normals. So to fix that again, just take a version of your mesh that's all complete, the one that has the normals that you want, and then select all of the pieces that you want to copy to, and then copy normals. And now it's hidden. So if you're walking up to this secret room in your game, it's not going to be seen. All right, so hopefully that's going to be useful to you. I'll put the link in the description below. So yeah, if you like this tool or you want to see more of this kind of stuff, like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.